Today, I'm going to show you all seven of the most interesting cultural tradition in CK3. Hopefully, you do find a tradition here you haven't yet tried. I did just wanted to quickly say if you already haven't considered subscribing to keep up to date with more stuff like this in the future, just to clarify, these traditions aren't in any order and I'm excluding regional traditions. So first on our list is culinary artists. It provides 50 renowned per feast and prestige scaling from 75 to 375 depending on the court amenities. Also, it provides a flat plus 10 aptitude to food tasters. You might think that 50 renown per a feast host is negligible, but considering you can host multiple feasts in a single lifetime, it all stacks up. Pair it with a tradition like frequent festivals, which cuts the feast cooldown time by 50, and you can stack up renown pretty easily. Religious patronage plus 25 monthly piety from buildings, a whopping plus 2000 piety for constructing a temple holding, which is used to create or reform any religion, also plus 150 renown for constructing a temple, as well as plus 75 renown for upgrading one. Now keep in mind, you need to directly hold the castle that you're building the temple in for this to actually work. Pair this up with a theocratic doctrine, and if you have good enough relation with your realm priest, you can actually benefit from 50% of all the taxes and 100% of all the levies generated from your temples. Garden Architects This tradition lets you build the Royal Garden Duchy Building which gives the same bonuses as the Royal Reserves but instead of the monthly development growth modifier of the Royal Reserves, the Royal Duchy provides percentage increase in monthly prestige, decrease in stress gained and some code grandeur. But what's interesting about this tradition is that you will get access to a new court position, court gardener that gives plus 0.1 to plus uh, 0.7 development growth in realm capital depending on their aptitude. Holders, this tradition is actually busted if you want to develop a coastal county. It enables the adaptive militia innovation, it provides bonuses to pastoral lands, farms and fields, wetlands. Uh, farms, manor houses, and orchards built in coastal counties. It gives a minus 10% construction time modifier to coastal baronies, a 5% skirmisher damage, and plus 10% skirmisher screen. Philosopher culture. If you're looking for a tall kind of game, philosopher culture will provide just the right bonuses, plus 20 monthly uh, learning lifestyle experience, plus 1 learning per level of fame, plus 5 cultural fascination progress per learning education trait level, plus 5% cultural fascination progress if cultural head is scholar and children are three times more likely to gain the pensive trait and less likely to gain the rowdy trait. This tradition you can get up to 25% more cultural fascination progress which is actually huge and additional learning which helps in research speed. By the sword tradition, if conquering massive amounts of lands in a single lifetime is your kind of playstyle, then by the sword tradition is for you. It does have some negative penalties, however, like minus 1 diplomacy per level of devotion, minus 20% monthly piety, minus 15 different faith opinion. But the fun part about this tradition is you can use holy wars for kingdom causes Pelai multiple times per lifetime. It takes less level of devotion to declare a holy war and it provides plus 1 martial per level of devotion. Now the last tradition we are going to cover in today's video is mystical ancestors. It gives plus 10 dynasty opinion and granting land to house members will gain you renown. However, revolving titles from your close family members will cost you piety and you cannot disinherit dynasty members. This tradition makes dealing with succession harder but rewards if done correctly. These were my 7 most interesting cultural tradition. If there are tradition you guys enjoy playing with, do leave them in the comments down below. With that said guys, I'll see you in my next video.